What's going on? Jason Bahari here, trying to do uh, another little fishing video for you. Got the John boat in here and some fresh water. I'm gonna hang some limb lines for catfish. Check out this boat ramp. Man, that joker is steep. It's a uh, long straightaway to back into this thing. It's not really a ramp, but you can put small boats and kayaks and canoes and stuff like that in here. I got Lola running with me too. She'll probably be barking out at everything. Hopefully not gator bait. Lola, come on, let's go. She's ready to ride. Come on, get in there. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Find someplace shady. Well, we got the boat in the water. I'm gonna idle down this creek and see if I can't find a good spot to maybe catch some bait. And if I don't see anything good like that, which I don't know if there's gonna be because it's kind of tight in here and a lot of a lot of fallen trees and live trees and everything else. But if not, I got some chicken livers and chicken gizzards we'll use for bait. Check out the ride. So, got the first one tied up. And what my buddy was telling me, that way you can just drive by them. You can put a clothespin on it and put a loop of just, you know, a foot of line or whatever. That way you can see if something nibbled on it or is on it or been messing with it. Come on. What it'll do, if something pulls on it, it'll pull it out of that clothespin. The clothespin will stay up here and there won't be a loop in the line. So what we'll do is just make this loop long enough to where you can see it from underneath the trees. While you're just driving by. That way you don't have to stop and look at every single one of them. If that loop's still in there, it probably still has bait on it. So we got some chicken livers. I also have some gizzards too. I don't know how much I need to put on it. Put a little bit on there. I would love to have some fresh cut bait, but maybe after a while we'll get some. Just throw it in just like that.
got a tree shaker already. Coming to get you, Chad. Got probably at least 10 catfish already. So in true boating fashion, yesterday our live well pump went out. That's what we ended up with. So I am changing it out, not with a new one, but from another one out of my other boat. So hopefully today will be better. Because our live well pump went out, all of our catfish died. So here's what we ended up with yesterday. We had three nice ones couple little babies another little baby I was trying to keep them alive to throw them back in my buddy's pond I let a bunch of them go in there years ago but I guess a gator or something got in there and they only have one left that one right there Ooh, he's slimy. that's a nice fish but we're gonna eat them anyway I'm cooking up these shrimps later tonight they are my ice packs at the moment. I'm about to run to the store and grab some more chicken gizzards and probably a couple bags of ice and we'll be ready to rock for round two. Go pull those lines that we left out there. I'm not the first guy out this morning. There was another truck there at the ramp. They didn't have a, a trailer, so either had a small boat or a kayak, canoe, something like that. Hopefully they left all my lines alone. I'm sure they're just out here sightseeing or fishing. One of the two. Just like I am. But I'm going to enjoy this little bit of ride in this early morning. And I'll get back to you when we start pulling lines. Man, that right there is pretty to me. white flowers. Most of them will be dead off here by noonish. When it starts heating up, then you'll have another set bloom tomorrow. Or tonight. Just keep on going and going and going. Here at my first line, and it's shaking. So I know I got one on it. I got one on quite a bit of them. Popping pretty good though. Good 
sign. I gotta figure out how to put this damn camera up somewhere so you guys can see it and I don't have to hold it. I'm hoping Chad and his boy make it back out, but he's got a little bit of a wait to find a babysitter for his baby. So we'll do with what we got right now. And would you look at that? The live well works. Hopefully it stays on all day and we can throw some in my buddy's pond later. On to line number two. I think it's right up. Right up here. Somewhere. Yeah, there's one right here. I don't know if it's shaking. Come on. Well, definitely wasn't getting on. Not a bad one. That's catfish number two. Well, I did one quick run through all my lines, and I think we did okay. I had to move one of them, it was all tangled up. I just moved it to this tree back behind me. It actually looks like it'd be a pretty good spot to fish in. But we got two, two bigger cats and I think three or four little ones. There's one of them really good ones. Uh, it might be getting close to four or five pounds anyway. There's one of them smaller ones. It's pretty cool. Turn this water back on and get them swimming. And I might actually, I probably will run all these lines again and then I'll rod and real fish for some if I find a good spot. That looks interesting anyway or wherever I'm starting to catch some. But here we go. I'll get you guys out if we start catching some again.
drone is going to crash because it is super windy. I need to go and get this thing. I can land it on that island with that gator, but not with him there because it'll probably eat it. I wish I could overlay this. Shaking the tree a little bit.
pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see all the whiskers again when they get used to eating the top water food. Hopefully the turtles hang out. <laughs> 